Welcome to the video supplement for McGraw-Hill's Medical Simulation. Today we look at the scenario, I'm burning up, where am I? Today's patient is Bob Marathon, a 48-year-old who just started a workout regimen and has passed out in his kitchen. Along with the essential clinical skills, your instructors will be looking for washing your hands, wearing your gloves, and demonstrating a proper introduction to your patient including checking the patient name and birthday on the ID bracelet with that on the medical records. Now let's join our healthcare professional, Rebecca, and her student, Holly, as we learn to take a pulse. Today we're gonna to be looking at the three pulse points. The three pulse points are the radial, the carotid, and the dorsalis pedis. Next, we wanna confirm the patient's identity. This is Bob Marathon. Check his name and date of birth on the armband, compare it to the medical record. Next, we're going to be explaining to the patient and we're going to check his vital signs. Mr. Marathon, we're going to take great care of you today. How are you feeling? I'm burning up. Where am I? The backstory on Mr. Marathon is that he's 48 years old and he just began a weight loss program. He ran three miles today and then collapsed in his kitchen. In this simulation, to take a radial pulse, we want to take our index finger and the middle finger of our hand and place it on the wrist about above the patient's thumb. And you should never use your own thumb because you may detect your own pulse. Place your fingers right here and make sure you have a watch on with a second hand. And when taking the pulse, you're going to look at the second hand of your watch and feel for the pulse for 15 seconds and multiply that number by four and that's the rate of the pulse per minute. And if you feel the pulse is irregular, it's wise to take the pulse for a full minute. I felt 40 beats in 15 seconds, so I multiply by, by four and you get 160, which is the heart rate. As well as the radio pulse, you can also check a pulse of the carotid artery on either side of the larynx. And you can also check a dorsalis pedis pulse on the dorsum of the foot to the side of the great toe. And the last thing you need to do is complete your student simulation worksheet. We want to confirm the patient's identity first. Now it's your turn, Holly. You want to tell me a little bit about the patient? Mr. Marathon is 48 years old and he collapsed in his kitchen today. How are you feeling? I'm burning up. Where am I? We're going to take great care of you today. Okay, Holly, would you like to demonstrate? First, you place two fingers on the radial artery and we're going to look on our watch and feel for 15 seconds and see how many times that you feel the pulse and then multiply that by four and that is your radial pulse. Good. In 15 seconds, I felt 40 beats, so I multiply that by four and get 160 beats per minute. And then I record my findings on my medical records. The next pulse point is the carotid on the neck on either side of the larynx. The third pulse point is the dorsalis pedis. It's on the great toe side of the dorsum of the foot. Once that's done, I'll remove my gloves. I will wash my hands using the gel and then complete my student simulation worksheet. Great job, Holly. And that's how you assess a radio pulse, carotid pulse, and dorsalis pedis pulse on the Laerdal simulator. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to your success in this demonstration. I'm Lauren Corbett with McGraw Hills Medical Simulation Work Text.